dear student friends now the new concept that is continuous stirring reactor or continuous stirring tank reactor that is in short we call as a CSTR uh, mostly this particular type of the reactor is used in the petrochemical industries or petrochemical wastewater effluent treatment plants where the continuous stirring is required for the, uh, the separation of the oily greasy material from the wastewater so what exactly in this uh, method so this is one of the type of the the biological or anaerobic method where the uh, the most important thing is the stirring stirring action of the stirring uh, technology so we will see in detail what exactly in this so continuous reactors means that reactants are added and products removed continuously this is very important thing reactants are added and products removed continuously at a constant mass flow rate means you have to provide a constant mass flow and you have to add the reactant and get the and products removed from continuously at constant mass flow rate so this is the the continuous reactions largely daily production rates are mostly conducted in the continuous equipment this is the continuous process of the continuous reaction so uh, in continuous reactor there are three types of the reactors CSTR that is continuous stirring tank reactor plug flow reactor and tubular flow reactor but as per the syllabus concern we will only see and we will look only the CSTR so what exactly in the CSTR that we will see in detail so as I said uh, the CSTR is nothing but the continuous stirred tank reactor and it is a vessel to which reactants are added and products removed while the contents within the vessels are vigorously stirred using internal agitation or by the internal uh, recycling the con contents as we know in, uh, in basic chemistry we are using the stirrer and uh, when some samples are taken and some uh, uh, catalyst when we are added into that sample uh, for getting some sediments or from getting some precipitate we are uh, continuously stirring with the help of the stirrers so similarly big or large size of the stirrer tanks are used in the industries where the the react uh, the uh, where the toxicants are removed by using the uh, this particular stirrer tank so uh, in this CSTR may be employed in series uh, series or in parallel form so CSTR uh, in the CSTR there are uh, there's an important thing is the residence time so how much it is resident huh? I mean sample how much it is kept in that tank that can be can uh, that can be calculated by using the formula so residence time uh, minus average amount of the time discrete quantity of the reagent spent inside the tank so if you see the residence time is equal to volumetric flow rate divided by the volume of the tank at steady state the flow rate in in must be equal the mass flow rate so in overall if you look at the uh, this formula so you have to very important keep in mind that is the mass flow rate means flow rate you have to maintain the uh, into the CSTR if you see the application of the CSTR so this uh, this type of the reactors are mostly or commonly used in the industrial processing uh, primarily in homogeneous liquid phase flow reactions where the constant agitation is required uh, also used by the themselves in series or in batteries uh, so likewise in fermenters most of the big fermenters they are using CSTRs for the biological processes in many industries such as brewing industries antibiotics industries uh, even though waste treatments fermenters are large molecules are broken down into the smaller molecules with the alcohol produced by as by a by, by products and as per the uh, the topic concern we are mostly based on or we are mostly looking for this CSTR for the treatment of the wastewater where the microbes are used in the fermenter where the microorganism degrading in a large amount of the organic uh, compounds or organic matter into the simpler form of the uh, uh, into they are converted into the simpler form is complex form into the simpler form so this is the main application of this CSTR if you see the advantages and disadvantages of CSTR uh, uh, good temperature control is easily maintained in this CSTR it is a cheaper to construct anybody can construct 
in a very low cost reactor has a large heat capacity interior of reactor is easily assessed accessed if you see the disadvantages conversion of reactant to product per volume of reactor is small compared to the other flow reactors so these are the important advantages and disadvantages of this CSTR okay so I think you understood about the uh, continuous stirring tank reactor for the water as well as the wastewater treatment not water mostly wastewater mostly wastewater the sewage as well as the wastewater coming from the food processing industries or even the beverage industry etc okay thank you thank you very much